I'll be showing how to change the resolution from 169 1920 by 1080 to 43 resolution in CS2. First, we are going to go into the settings menu, which is the top left gear. Then you want to go to video tab, video tab again. By default, your aspect ratio will be widescreen 169. We are going to change that to normal for three. Now, the two main resolutions shown here that I'm going to show you that pros play in is first off 1280 by 960 is the most popular one. And then the second most popular one is 1024 by 768. Go ahead and pick one of those or anyone's listed here. Display mode should be full screen and then your refresh rate should always be the highest hertz listed so for me it's 360 afterwards hit apply changes we also have to change some graphic settings so for my nvidia users go into your bottom right go and right click on your nvidia settings nvidia control panel open that up you're going to look for this tab here adjust desktop size and position and then for the scaling if you want black bars click aspect ratio if you want stretch that's full screen no scaling is for my 16 by 9 users which is native okay so if i want stretch i'm going to keep it full screen perform scaling on i recommend gpu don't change this resolution here and then the monitor refresh rate once again change that to your highest available setting for me 360 then hit apply now for amd graphic card users how to change resolutions go ahead right click your desktop and go ahead and go into the amd software go to gaming then display there's a box right here that says custom resolutions go ahead and read and accept that then go ahead and create new let's say we want to play 1280 by 960 go ahead and put in those numbers like this and then we also have to change the timing display 1280 by 960 then hit create if you want black bars for GPU scaling, enable that. And then for the scaling mode, it should be preserve aspect ratio. And that's how you change resolutions to 4.3 in CS2. Enjoy playing, leave a like if you find this guide helpful, and subscribe for more CS2 guides and content.